In this video we're checking out the Beta FPV Beta 85X 4K. This is the one with the Tarsia camera instead of the Turtle so you get 4K video. And they made some modifications to the frame, uh, motors, uh, 4 in 1 ESC. Pretty much is kind of a whole new model here. Just basically you have the same 2 inch props here. And these custom Avon micro props from Emacs. They now provide them in this uh, uh, blue color that matches the canopy. And um, the canopy here holds the camera, as you can see, the video transmitter. And the camera is actually held on the underside to these screws here to the canopy. And then the canopy is held to the frame here with these small screws that go into the frame here, as you can see there and there. It goes in there, and I think there it might be one in the back. Mm, can't tell if there's one in the back or not. Doesn't seem like it. Looks like it's three screws. And then you have different motors here. We have the 1105 5000 KV, so they're recommending flying this on 4S. I'll show you the battery here in a second. The um, uh, power system is a 4-in-1 ESC. It's 16 amps, uh, BL Heli 32, and a separate uh, flight controller board. So it's a two-board system here, so uh, pretty heavy overall. And then you got the brace, carbon fiber brace here to prevent the frame from uh, warping in flight. So overall this thing is kind of on the heavy side and it does limit its um, acro performance and I wouldn't recommend this model for any kind of acro performance. Actually a lot, most, pretty much all these Cineos I don't really recommend for acro performance. I'd rather just go fly 3 inch without any prop guards on them. But this one comes in at 89.8 almost 89.9 grams, almost 90 grams. And then the battery that I use is this 4S520 GNB. That's uh, 55 and a half grams. So total weight all together. Let me see here. Okay, so total weight all together is a grand total of 145.35 grams. So yeah, this thing comes in pretty uh, much on the hefty side and whenever you do any like dives or power loops or anything kind of acrobatic, as soon as you come out of it and hit your prop wash, it will do the classic yaw washout and then uh, because it's so heavy it does drop really fast. If you get your yaw washout too close to the ground, you do end up crashing. So yeah, that's uh, kind of a downside of this model, um, but if you're just going to be flying slow, at a, you know, at the, you know, shallow angle, getting that nice cinematic 4K footage, say an indoor situation, something like that. This would be fine for that. Um, you know, no issues in terms of flying around in that manner. Now in terms of the Jello, I did get Jello on this setup here in various uh, situations, um, even in bright and also in dim lighting conditions. So Beta FPV did send me the uh, ND8 filter for the Tarsier. They did not send that to me originally. And they told me that that would fix the problem, but I was a little skeptical. I didn't think it would, um, and there's still Jello. Uh, basically, um, there's more motion blur in the video because of the uh, filter, but the Jello is still there, and you can and actually, I think, because of the filter, the Jello actually looks a bit worse because of all the mer the motion blur and the Jello together. So you'll see that at the very end of the video, the final flight that I took with us with the um, ND8 filter, the other fights that you're seeing here are from uh, before I got the ND8 filter. And I think it actually looks better without the filter, in my opinion. Now, in terms of Jello and why I'm getting Jello, it might be because of the frame, it might be because of the props. I did change the props, I did send me an extra, an extra set of props, and I did swap that out. It didn't make any difference in, in terms of what I could see. So I'm not exactly sure what's up with that. I did fly with the tune that they sent. Um, I didn't really tweak it too much. I did. I thought perhaps maybe the P gains were too high, so I didn't lower them, but that didn't seem to make any difference in terms of the Jello. So yeah, um, compared, you know, I'm not going to do a, a roundup here, but just just you know, cursory comparison to the pre previous ones that I reviewed, the Cine Pro 4K and the Cine B from iFlight. Those had much less Jello than this model. So. Um, although, of course, those are also bigger and heavier than this one as well, so no acro performance in those either. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all i got to say about this guy. It's, um, I think it's a bit lacking in terms of performance. 
Uh, it should be fine for cinder whipping in tight indoor spaces, but you know, for whatever reason, this particular build, the way it's set up, I just got unlucky and it has a fair amount of jello that you guys can see. Um, so if you're trying to get nice cinematic footage, uh, jello obviously doesn't mix well with that. So, And it doesn't really perform all that well in terms of aqua performance. So yeah, this one is going to be a, basically a pass for me. I would recommend uh, probably the Gep RC Cine Pro 4K or the uh, Cine B from iFlight over this model. I'll have a, a overall roundup video. I got the one from Full Speed also coming as well. So I think a couple more as well that um, you guys probably don't know about. More CineWhoop 4K models are coming. So I'm going to have to do a roundup video at some point to compare all of them and give you my assessment. But that's not going to be in this video. So anyway, I'm going to roll you more flight footage here. Um, you get about five minutes of flight time on this 524S, I think. If you charge it all the way to 4.35 volts per cell and run it all the way down. So, yeah, you know, flight time is pretty decent. Um, maybe you'll get lucky and get one without a lot of jello. I know I know for sure that there are people that got these and their footage looks pretty clean. So, I just think I got a little bit unlucky with that. But that's kind of the way things kind of go with a lot of these um, builds. Either they're going to be really good and you'll be perfect, or something is slightly off, wrong, slightly. Um, unbalanced props or maybe a motor bells slightly unbalanced you're going to be getting that vibration and that jello in your build. Anyway guys enough rambling here's the flight footage and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.